let's get straight to it. I'm going to freestyle this mock draft, meaning I have no real game plan besides getting my quarterback and a couple of other key positions like defensive tackle, defensive end, but I'm going to freestyle this. I'm, it depends on how I feel. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know in the comments below how I did on this mock draft. This is a freestyle mock draft. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You already know the vibes. Let's go Vikings. Skull 2024 NFL draft is about to be lit. Let's go. Let's get straight to it, man. I don't think I'm trading up, to be honest with you. So let's get, let's just start it. Let's start it. I'm gonna just, I ain't gonna trade up, y'all. We're gonna see what happens. Who falls to us, man? You know what I mean? We're gonna see who falls to us. Look, all right. So we got Joe Alt tackle from Notre Dame, Brian Murphy the second, Mitchell cornerback, uh, Arnold cornerback, uh, Dallas Turner defensive end from Alabama, Jared Verse. Whoo, we got a lot of, we got a lot of options, man. Jaden Daniel. That's not happening, bro. All right, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Like, that's not happening. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna pretend I didn't even see his name. You feel me? I'm gonna pretend I didn't see his name. It's not. He's not dropping down to the to the eleventh overall pick. Like, it's not happening. Don't see it. I'm gonna trade back. I'm gonna trade back a couple, a few spots, but that's just not happening. I get additional, was that a 78th? Is that a, a late second or early third? Let's see if, I don't know. Let's see. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. They said likely to be accepted. Gosh, Lee, is it like a, am I not asking for enough? Like, am I not asking for enough? All right, let's see. I'll get a future third round pick. I'll get a let's see if they accept this right quick. Hold on. Let me get an additional. I'm greedy. I'm greedy on these 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 uh yeah, I got I had to get. So I gave up the 11th overall pick for the 16th, the 78th, the 81st, the 151 pick and a future third round pick as well for them to move up a few spots and let's resume the draft. I'm going to pretend I didn't see Jaden Daniels cuz I don't believe he's going to drop. So I, that's that's cap, that's cap right there. I don't believe that. All right, so we got defensive and Dallas Turner. Got a couple of trade offers. All right, dropping back to the twenty third. I can get an additional second. I don't know. Let let me see what's available real quick before I even do that. To be honest with you, because there's a lot of good talent right here. Jackson Powers Johnson, uh, Latu, defensive end, CC Latham, Newton, Kool Aid, Brian Thomas Jr. Whew. Wide receiver, man. We know KJ Osborne is most likely not going to be here. Um, JJ McCarthy, he's moving up. He's moving on up. So, do could I get JJ McCarthy at 23? Let's see. I want to see if I can get J.J. McCarthy at 23. His stock is like his his draft stock, bro, is just going crazy up now, man. It's just it's amazing what happens, like how one person or a couple people say something and the rumors get going. And now his is on the PFF simulator. Now they're just like, oh, he's going to be drafted this high. It used to be second round pick. Now they're having him as high as the 30th. So I'll give him the 16th pick. 16th pick and I want the 23rd from the Texans, the 59th and the 85th. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they take this offer. They don't take the offer. So we'll take one of those off and I'll push this right here. Let's see. We freestyle on y'all. We're going to see what happens. They get the 16th. I got the 23rd, 59th, 124th. I probably wasn't enough I should have got a lot more than that and did not. So I'm going to keep it real. That probably was like a F in that trade. But we're going to see what happens throughout the rest of this draft. And um, I'm going to keep it real. I think I might go J.J. McCarthy right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go J.J. McCarthy right here. I got, we got to get our quarterback of the future. But um, let me let me see what else is available, like quarterback wise. Michael Penix, Bo Nix, no, 
Michael Penix is available. Wow. Wow. We got a lot available, y'all. We have a lot available. Y'all leave in the comments below. Like, what would you do right in this situation right here? Would you do this? Like, would you go J.J. McCarthy, Bo Nix, or Michael Penix? So since I don't go J.J. McCarthy, I always go Michael Penix. I'm going to go J.J. McCarthy at the 23rd overall pick. So I don't want to take a chance of losing out on him. All right, so now let's get to the second round. 42nd overall, I have one trade offer. Now let's see what I know. Going all the way to the 76? You're tripping. What kind of? Mm -mm. All right, so let's go. Let's see what we got. Let's see if cornerback. Kamari, that might be a good pickup right there. Chop Robinson is right there. I always draft Chop Robinson, so I'm not going that route. Um, Jermaine Burton from Alabama, wide receiver. That would be a nice pickup. Oh. Let's go with the best cornerback available by PFF grade. Let's just look at him real quick from Georgia. Um. 85.4 overall grade, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions, 136 yards allowed, six foot, 180, 14 games played, defensive snaps, coverage snaps, 408, receptions, only 15 targeted yards. Okay, I'm going to go Kamari, get the best, the best corner that's available. See, all right, we're still in the second round. I have a couple of offers. I can't get Chris Jenkins right here. Let me just see what else we got. They can, uh, I could trade back. Let's see, let's see something real quick. I might trade back, but we'll see if they, they said, nah, we're not doing that. No, 3% chance. So, 59th. All right, we'll see if this gets offered. If this doesn't, then so be it. No. All right, we're going to draft. We're going to draft. Ooh. I kind of want to. I kind of want to trade back, though, because I want to get as much as possible in this draft. I just want to get, fill up all the holes, man. So we're going to say, uh, give them. Oh, that's way too likely. Um, let's see if this gets accepted. Nope. Dang, they ain't trying to accept nothing though. Like we 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 gotta we gotta do something about this, man. I'm not gonna force the trade, but man, like, did I try one fifty one? I think I did. I'm not. Nope. Nope. Uh, I give you the 130th. I think that's, I believe that's a fourth round pick, right? I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll trade back a little bit. Let's go. What? All right. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. We get in Chris Jenkins, defensive tackle, or should we get the linebacker Cooper from Texas A&M? I think we might go linebacker, to be honest. We need a linebacker as well. You know what I mean? We need a linebacker as well. Tackles, assist, tackles, run defense. Um, six foot three, 230 pounds, 22 years old. All right, y'all. I, I think I'm going to go Cooper. I think I'm going to go Cooper, linebacker. All right, so now we're in the third round, 14th pick, 78th overall. All right, so we got a linebacker. We got our quarterback. Let's look for our pass rusher, right? The best rated pass rusher is my guy up there. What's his name again? Um, Austin Booker, defensive in Kansas. Let's see what's up with Bull real quick before I... 82.2, 12 games played, 9 sacks, hits 2. Hurry's first look. Six foot six. I think I'm gonna go Austin Booker. 
But let me just look and see what the best available defensive tackle is real quick. And, you know, we don't. this all depends on what we do in free agency, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm just thinking, like, I, I think we need to get that pass rush because I'm thinking D-Hunt ain't coming back. Ooh. I can get him. I can get him, though. I can get him a little bit later. I think I can get him a little later. Let's go Austin Booker right here, y'all. Let's see. Let's see if I can get sweat. Lord, please, please, please. Let's see, y'all. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. So, 90th. Oh, I can. Mm, I can, can I trade back and get some additional? Nah. We're going to have to drop the player right here. But let's see what, what besides that defensive tackle, let's see what else we got on this. Um. Cedric Van Pran, that oh, I don't know if I could pass up the center to be honest with you, but I think I gotta get this. I think I gotta get this defensive tackle. What would y'all do, y'all? Would y'all go for the center, or would y'all go for the defensive end, bro? Because I'm thinking, I mean, defensive tackle. I, I, I'm thinking, I gotta go get the DT. I gotta go get the DT. That's, I'm going to the DT, bro. Let's see, real quick about. 91.7, 14 games played, two sacks, three hits, hurries, batted ball, uh, six foot four, two. Oh, he's a monster. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Skull, baby, skull. I think I'm doing pretty good, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments below how I'm doing so far, man. We got so many picks, man. I got so many. I got like 50 million picks. Got 50 million picks, bro. For real. All right, let's see what's the best available. All right, Max Melton, Max Melton, 73.1, 12 games played, targets, touchdowns, interceptions. Oh, he, he like 50-50 on that. First look, 6 foot 190. We do need a running back, but I think I can get a running back a little bit later, so I'm not going to reach right there. But we do need to get a cornerback. So I think... We're going to go get the cornerback. I do want a, a cornerback, man. I just want another cornerback. I just I feel like we need a Jordan Travis, of course, man. Unfortunate for Jordan Travis to get injured, man. That That's an unfortunate injury, bro. Like, it really is. And um, that really sucks. Center, Limmer. Oh, oh, I can get him a little bit later, though. I can get him a little bit later. Let's go get Max Melton from Rutgers. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Skull, baby. Center. We're going to get the center right now, bro. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Now, best running back, Breland Allen. Let's look at all the running backs. Trey Benson, Breland Allen. Trey Benson is definitely falling in. Man, it's crazy how, like, it's updating. Our 74.9, 11 games played. Recover the ball. Yards per game, 5.4. Breland Allen, first look. 6'2", 245. We're going to go Breland Allen. I use I would go Trey Benson, but I'm going to try. I'm trying to change up what I usually draft. I usually draft Trey Benson if I have the opportunity because I'm a big I'm a big fan of Trey Benson from Florida State. Trey Benson is that guy, but I want to try to change it up as much as I can when I do mock drafts. So I'm going to go Breland Allen, and then I got my running back. Oh, my gosh, bro. I'm doubling down on running back. You know J.J. McCarthy in that running game. Bro, I might have to double down on running backs, bro. I'm doubling down on running backs, bro. I know. Hey, y'all let me know in the comments below how y'all feel about having a one-two punch in the running back room. Shout out to everybody that respects the running back position. We just got two pretty good running backs. Hopefully, if they stay healthy, we might be all right. We might be all right. We might be all right. All right. LSU Wingo defense. All right. I don't know. I don't know. We got, we got Zach Zinter at guard. I think we might. I, I, I want. I'm. I'm thinking about going that route, but I'm gonna keep it real. I'm. Let me look around a little bit. 
I think I'm going to go. I'm going to double one down on defensive tackle Wingo. LSU. Y'all let me know how I'm doing. Y'all let me know how I'm doing on this mock draft, man. I think I'm doing a good job, but we're going to see what y'all think. <laughs> I'm curious of what y'all think right now, man. I'm really curious of what y'all thinking right now. All right, so. All right, so we got. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle Walter. And the only reason why I'm thinking that because Brian O'Neill's been hurt and darisol has been hurt. 6 foot 6, 322. Eh, shoot, we're going to just go for it. We're going to go with ball. See, two hits, hurries. I think I'm going to draft him. You can't go wrong with too many offensive linemen. Uh, Braden McGregor, defensive end, cornerback, A.J. Barner. I think I'm going to go still from Maryland. You got to uh, – or Braden McGregor, defensive end from tight end, Jer Jaheim Bell. I think I'm going to go Jaheim Bell. And the reason why I'm going tight end right here is because of the fact that we don't know what's up with T.J. Hawkinson when he's going to be back and healthy. So I feel like we have to make sure we're on point. Um, Yeah, we have to make sure we're on point. And we have to make sure we double down on certain positions that you think will be good because you just never know when it comes to injuries. Uh, you got, we already got the tackle. All right. All right, let's look. I want, I don't know why I keep thinking I want to go cornerback again, bro. Like, I be wanting to go cornerback again. Like, our cornerback room, I want to be vicious. Let's go, man. We get in the cornerback still. Then we're going to go. Oh, he dropped down, so I'm going to go get my tight end. <laughs> Works out perfectly. And then for this pick right here, last pick of this draft, freestyle draft. Y'all let me know in the comments below what you think about this draft. We're going to go. Jalen Ford. It doesn't matter if it's the last pick, you know. Andre the free agent, Ivan Pace Jr., for example, we have to do better in these late round picks. Hopefully, I did well. Let's go, Vikings. Welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. For everybody on the team, let's that I just drafted. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Skull, skull, skull. Grafting. Great in my draft. So, all right. So, this is what we did. We traded the 11th for the 16th, a third round pick, two third round picks. We got a fifth round pick and another future third round pick. All right. Where's the grade at right here? They didn't give us the grade. That's a glitch. Y'all let me know in the comments below what you think the grades are for these two trades. And I did another trade. I traded I traded down to the 23rd and got an additional second round and a fourth round. I gave up the 16th overall. I don't know what the grades are. They didn't put the grades there for some strange reason. I'm not really sure why. Y'all let me know what y'all think <laughs> they are. I got J.J. McCarthy at the 23rd. His stock has risen, bro. So we got J.J. McCarthy. We got one of the best corners in um, Kamari. They gave me an A- minus for that from Georgia. I got a linebacker, Cooper. Then I went defensive end, Austin Booker in the third round. And then in addition, and then I got the defensive tackle, uh, Sweat in the third round which i think this is a still these two players right here is a still in the third round and i i think we got we had i had to get the linebacker y'all and then you know an underrated position that we don't talk about enough as viking fans is the cornerback position then i got max melton again another cornerback then i got the center limmer then i doubled down on h back Braylon Allen and Trey Benson back to back fourth round pick and then the fifth round pick for Trey Benson. Then I went Wingo defensive tackle from LSU. Then I got an additional tackle. So you know what I mean? We don't know what's going on with Brian O'Neill. And you know, it just we just gotta make sure we good. You know what I mean? And then I drafted again cornerback. Whew. Then I got tight end. Then I got tight end Bell. Um, yeah, Bell. They gave me a B plus for that. And then Jalen Ford, I got an A for that linebacker. And they gave me an A overall grade. Y'all let me know in the comments below what you think. Let's go, Vikings. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's go.